This is the Magnavox LH8000 laser disc player that I have listed. Uh, like I said in the ad, it's been sitting on the shelf for 30 plus years. Uh, I haven't done a lot of research, but uh, it was it was uh, made in the uh, late 70s to early 80s, and uh, it was purchased new. Purchased by my aunt. It's been sitting on the shelf for, for years and years without uh, being used. Open it up here. Takes a full size disc player. A little two on top. Uh, really good shape here. Some of the stick here, I don't know if that was a sticker, but there's something here and there's a scratch there on top, but pretty clean all the way around. buttons and open this up put a disc in and power it on here's the disc, this disc is huge uh, this is once upon a time in the west we'll put side one in here Here's the reader right here. It's in the start position, I guess. The reader here. So, close it and power it on. So you hear the motors running. Uh, the motors running fine. Uh, okay, we hit play, so the light above the play button lights up. Here's the audio channel selector here. Hit the play button. Uh, here's the reverse, the slow motion forward and reverse, and this adjusts the speed of the slow motion here. So that's why this is lit up here. So we'll go back to play and it's back in play mode now. I uh, say thing was still. That'll that'll uh, move it forward and backwards by uh, frame by frame I suppose. Uh, and come back over to play and, and then the play button will light up. Here the motor turning the disc is spinning. Uh, I tried hooking it up to the television and uh, this is the cable that came off the back of it. Uh, it looks like an RCA jack but an RCA jack doesn't exactly fit in, in the, the, the jack in the back. Uh, this looks a little longer and then here is what the other end, I don't know, I guess it's plugged into some kind of di digital converter that plugged into the television, I'm not sure. But uh, I did hook it up to the television with uh, RCA and I couldn't get a picture or a signal. So looking here, it looks like everything functions. Uh, getting a, a picture to the television, well that's the only issue that I can find and I don't know, I, I either don't have the right wires or the right converter to do that. So. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of, make, uh, of making sure that it's getting a signal. And everything here seems to be working fine. The forward and in, in, in reverse slow motion and the steel, that will light up. And then we'll go back to play and that will light up above the play button. Now you'll see that. And then the click and then it's ready to open. So 
have that so I will ship this cable with it also I'll take this out So like it's searching for, maybe you have to have a disc in there for it to operate. It sounded like it was searching for something. Okay, let's flip this around here. And the box. Okay, I have a picture. It's heavy, it's heavy. It's shipping weight's going to be 35 to 40 pounds. That thing, that thing weighs like a safe. Pardon me. Okay, here's the cable here. Here's the cable here. It will plug in right here. Right, there we go. And then it has an additional output. Here's an additional output here, which I'm not exactly sure. It looks like coax, but not really. Uh, it looks like coax, but it's not really, so I'm not sure what that would take, an antenna or what, but that's an auxiliary video output. And then here's the TV signal output. So. Maybe that's just for a television. Maybe, maybe, um, although there's not a channel selector on here, so I don't know. That's the TV signal output, and that's an auxiliary, so. And then you have the channel 3 4 selector here in your audio, so. You can get it figured out. Figure out how to, uh, get a signal to the television, then, then you should have an operating laser display. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's functioning, functioning just fine up to the point of getting the signal to the TV. Uh, see if I can get this in here. This is the box that's coming in. It's a big, big box. A big box. Uh, I'll have the box. The only way I can fit it in there is to put it in this way. So, so we're going to put it in and, and uh, I'll fill the space up here so it, it'll it'll get there without bouncing around and stuff. Uh, think about putting a beach ball between here and there, but I'll figure something out so it'll get to you nice and safe. Uh, I say it's heavy. It's going to be 35 to 40 pounds, and uh, if you're the winner of the auction, I get them out the next day so good luck and happy bidding Magnavox Magnavox laser disc player model VH8000 good luck happy bidding